Okay, so first thing, let's just say we physically can do it. We know you could hit the golf ball far better than you were, obviously, in the lesson. We saw that lesson one. It's just sometimes when that ball gets there and the ball's not going up in the air, what you will try to do is actually do things that are actually impossible, like get underneath the golf ball, lift the ball up in the air. All we've got to try to do is focus on trying to create a nice big circle with the arms and the club around your body. So if we look at the right-hand position here now, we can see the hands nicely down beneath the head and in line with the golf ball. And we're in a good start position. Previously on the left, here, you see the hands just a little bit back behind the golf ball. That's often a sign that you're trying to lean back, get underneath it, do whatever you possibly can to get the golf ball up in the air. So if we look at this movement here now, back swing wise, and if we take some positives away from even this swing that wasn't your best swing, the back swing wise now is fantastic. We're getting the club in a really good position. We're hinging the wrist, we're turning the shoulders, we're creating a lot of power with that club all the way back there. Your right arm is just folding nicely and we're setting the club in a really good position. The problem is now, once that ball gets there and because of a few shots you had where you topped it, you will see here now as you start bringing the golf club back down, there's a distinct sort of drop with your head at about now, trying to get down to the golf. And this dropping with your head as you go into the golf ball causes these arms to sort of pull up into your body. You can see your left arm now, as we can see, pulling away from the body. As a result of that now, the club simply can't get low enough and we catch top of the golf ball. Now, every now and then you may have dipped your head so much that the head dipping down and the arm bending combine to get the club back to the golf ball. But obviously, consistency-wise, Emery, it's not going to be a very well consistent way to play golf. You're going to be in some good shots, but more often than not hit the ground behind the ball or top it. So if we look here on the right-hand side at your practice swing, same good back swing, <clears throat> club to the top of the back swing, as we can see here now, as you were on the left but from here now there's more of a sensation your arms dropping and your head staying nice and high while you keep the width with your arms so you'll notice now your body twisting through a lot more now if you try to keep your head down or you dip your head this position here on the right hand side you physically can't get to if we look here now as you try to get the golf ball we all drop down the head staying down the arms folding in <clears throat> No twist with the body at all, and a sort of very folding up swing there with your arms, not creating that width or extension as we said. So try to focus more on where your hands are and your arms in relation to your body, and that's going to help the club get to the golf ball, not this dipping with the head to try and get down. Any drop with the head here is going to cause the arms to pull in as a sort of counterbalance. As you can see, now we just catch top of the golf ball and the ball pops up in the air. But like I said, rest assured, we know you can do it. Physically, the swing is something that you can achieve, okay? It's more of a mental thing. When we put the leaf under the golf ball or said to make some swings with your eyes closed, you actually swung the club a lot better because you were trying to work more on the feel of the golf swing rather than actually utilising what your eyes are telling you and then telling you, I need to get lower as a result of topping some shots. So work on that width with the arms. Keep the hands nice and away from the body. Nice wide swing. You can see your body moving now much more fluidly on the right-hand side here creating a nice big circle this is the move we can just practice as i said at home even without a golf ball the more we do this and the more we get a nice brushing of the grass we're going to get more confident now the fact we can get that club down to the golf ball as opposed to feeling the need to really drop in that dropping into the ball now with your head all that's going to do now is cause you more often than not to top the golf ball so i hope that all makes sense marie any questions obviously give me a shout and i will see you next lesson cheers